have personally generated over two million dollars with google search ads alone both for my personal brands as well as client brands under my google ads agency your marketing and in this video i'm going to show you how i structure my one million dollar dynamic search ad campaigns so you can achieve a similar scale to what i have done so whether your brand is looking to scale to the next level or just even get some traction going with google search ad campaigns this video is one you're going to want to watch until the end now the main reason why i even prefer dynamic search campaigns over those normal collection or product-based search campaigns is because there's a lot less pressure on finding best-selling products or best-selling collections from those search campaigns because keep in mind just because a product is a bestseller with google shopping or with facebook ads or with tiktok that does not necessarily mean it's going to be a bestseller with search campaigns and if you launch just a single product search campaign or a collection based search campaign what happens is there becomes too much pressure on that product or on that campaign to perform well and in most instances what i've seen is they just don't end up performing as well by the way here are some of the results that we're able to see with dynamic search campaigns and why i really even prefer them over the normal types of search campaigns as you can see some of these are running at a 19x row as other ones running at a 5.56x row as this one also 5.26x row as. and as we go down we see more that have not spent as much money or are just getting started or and are in the optimization phase really you will find kind of varying results in the beginning dynamic search campaigns do take a bit of extra time to begin to work because those are dynamic they need to figure out what's working before they can push more budget and really pump more of it to what is working but that's essentially the only downfall of dynamic search because besides Besides that there's a lot more benefits dynamic search in terms of copywriting there's a lot more freedom compared to if you were running a best-selling product campaign or a collection-based campaign because with those your ad copy it really has to revolve around that specific product or that specific collection whereas with dynamic search campaign it could refer to your entire brand or it could refer to an entire collection of products or all of the products that you sell you don't have to be so narrowed and so deeply focused on certain words when it comes to copywriting so this really makes it much easier to find great success success and skill with dynamic search campaigns. The way dynamic search campaigns work is they don't go towards just one product or an individual product. Rather, they go towards all of the pages on your website. So for example, if we go inside this dynamic search campaign right here, we can see that there's an ad group in there which is called all targets. And that is because that's just the way dynamic search campaigns work. They target literally every single URL on your website, or you can change it to target maybe collections or maybe categories or maybe custom labels. That's essentially what we have done here. Obviously, you can't see it for security reasons, but we are basically targeting certain categories within our entire store. And and all of the specific ads within this dynamic search campaign is getting shown for that given category itself. But if we go on over to the ad section, you will see we only have one ad here that's running. It has gotten two sales, but because this is a high ticket store, the sales have been massive. But you don't need to launch multiple ad sets or ad copies when it comes to dynamic search campaigns because the reality is one should be good enough. And if you look right here, this is a furniture e-commerce brand, but it's a very broad ad copy it's talking about the product and the store as a whole it's literally not talking about anything else that's the beauty of a dynamic search campaign but the basic account structure which i personally use when it comes to dynamic search campaigns and let's start off with the budget because that's where this structure begins so any decent dynamic search campaign should have a decent budget to begin with and when i say decent i'm referring to anything above 25 to 50 dollars a day now there are some campaigns like this first one where it can run at a 10 dollar a day budget and still crush it but this really slows down the entire process of getting results of getting sales and it's not the most ideal thing to be doing when it comes to dynamic search campaigns the next kind of structure which i incorporate within dynamic search campaigns is first of all i make sure my dynamic search campaigns are running on a smart bidding based ad strategy rather than manual cpc or maximize clicks none of that stuff and this one as well if we look right here it's running on target roas as the bidding strategy but we have given it very low restrictions there is no target roas which we have pulled this campaign to reach and as a result we're letting it go out letting it 
it free and achieve the best possible results. When you become too strict, you end up really restricting the overall ad budget, the overall ad spend. You want to make sure that there's very little restrictions as low as possible with a dynamic search campaign. One thing I've really started finding better success with is having multiple ad groups within a dynamic search campaign and running the dynamic search campaign for multiple different categories within my store. And to give you a good example of that, we go inside this dynamic search campaign right Right here and the way it works is pretty straightforward these are this is not a dynamic search campaign here but you should have multiple different ad groups like ad group number one ad group number two all targeting a different category or just different collections in your store now this is not really needed because if we go inside this account one more time and look at the actual dynamic search campaign that's running we can see that there's only one ad group here which is targeting all web pages but if you do end up going with this strategy this campaign is for retargeting by the way but if you go with this strategy Strategy, make sure you have at least a decent budget to go with it ideally what you can be doing is having multiple ad groups each ad group targeting a different collection on your store or a different web page or a different url but you want to have one base ad copy for the entire campaign you should stick to only one base ad copy and run it across multiple different ad groups themselves but in addition to that what you want to be doing with your dynamic search campaign is within the audiences section you want to be incorporating different kinds of audiences which can make the dynamic search campaign function properly and scale to the next level the way i like to do this is i like to add more audiences here that have already interacted with my brand in some way shape or form on an observation basis now this is a retargeting campaign hence why this is on targeting basis but you want to make sure this is observation on your end basically what that means is that dynamic search campaign will observe all the people in these audience segments and try to understand their data points so that it can go out and use the same data points to find similar people when it comes to cold traffic the final thing that you should be doing with a dynamic search is adding different audience segments on an observation basis so your dynamic search campaign is not relying on any type of individual product or collection but rather using the business data as a whole to further scale to the next level but the reality is real skill with the dynamic search campaign will come from the optimizations you do so in terms of optimizations the easiest kind of approach to dynamic search campaigns is of course going within the keyword section and really shutting anything off that is not relevant that is not ranking based on what you want to rank for such as here if we look at all of these keywords there might be a few which are just overspending meaning spending 10 to 20 dollars or more but not really performing you want to exclude those keywords but in addition going into your ads themselves looking at the ctr so the ctr is less than 10 percent improving it until it's more than 10 percent and then doing further optimizations to further improve the ctrs these are all kind of basic search campaign optimizations you should be doing within the dynamic search to really scale it to the next level and then of course increasing budgets decreasing restrictions further based on the results if the results are positive increasing budgets by 10 percent to 25 percent so on and so forth but this is essentially the main general structure that i'm using for dynamic search campaigns for my brands as well as client brands under my google ads agency your marketing which by the way if you're doing forty thousand dollars or more per month in revenue you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand to the next level go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can potentially work together and make that happen